the nails, the lashes, the hair, and we're officially LA ready, even though we've already been in LA for a day. Hey y'all, it's Jayla, AKA Jay Chanelli on the internet. Welcome back slash welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. Remember to hit that subscribe button and join all 18,000 of us over here, okay? We lit. I'm bringing you hair, makeup, and lifestyle content on this channel. So again, hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you can know anytime I'm posting a new video. I'm coming to y'all today with a maintenance vlog. It's long overdue. I recently went to LA and I had to get myself together before we did that, okay? So we did the hair we did the lashes we did the nails okay we did a full maintenance vlog and I even got my toes done if you're interested in seeing this video go ahead and keep on watching hey y'all let's get right into this hair we are using a brand new color today this hair will be linked in the description box if you are interested and I made a ton of spring twist videos but rarely do I ever show you how I do the back of my hair. So that is what we're getting into in this video today, okay? So y'all can see that I have like a Walmart mirror in front of me and I actually have like a vanity mirror behind me. So I'm looking into the mirror in front of me to, to see the back of my head behind me, y'all. That is how I do my whole little parting situation. I hope that this is helpful to y'all because I know a ton of y'all want to know how we actually do the back of our heads. This is how I do the back of my head, y'all, okay? So if you are wondering, go ahead and add this video to your watch later so that when you are doing your hair, you know exactly how to part in the back, okay? Now, let's get into this spring twist situation. If you don't already know me, y'all, I am the spring twist queen here on YouTube. I have so many videos about how to achieve spring twists with this exact hair and with other brands and types of hair. I will link that playlist up in the cards above and also in the description box below so that you can get into it. I have a video about how exactly to do these extra long spring twists that I'm showing you right now. And fun fact, all you gotta do is take the hair and double it up. It's super easy, but again, if you want to see a dedicated video on that, I'll link it above. I also have an entire video dedicated to the exact type of hair that I'm using in this video. If you're interested in that, I'll also link it, y'all. I literally have you covered if you're looking for spring twist videos. So yeah, go ahead and check it out. Now, I need you to watch closely what I'm doing. I'm trying a new method of attaching this spring twist hair to my head. Do not do what I'm doing in this video, y'all. Don't do it. I thought my slipping was bad before, y'all. This slipped so bad. My hair looks so frizzy in such a short amount of time. So I'm glad I tried it so y'all know not to try this method, okay? Do not try this method. You heard it here first, <laughs> okay? So again, I don't know if y'all can see, but I'm literally, I took my natural hair, I split it into three parts, and I tried to braid the spring twist hair into my hair. I thought that that would be better as far as like, making sure it didn't slip at the root. But again, it was super frizzy, zero out of 10, do not recommend, okay? But I am gonna show you this process just so you can learn from my mistakes. If you have any questions about my spring twist, the hair I'm using, anything of that nature, please, please, please ask me in the comment section below. I try to respond to every single comment, so I'll see you and I got you, okay? Let's get into these nails, honey. So I'm taking this nude color. This is a gel polish from Beatles. And I'm going to paint all 10 of my press-ons with this nail polish. If you have not already seen my previous nail video, I show you exactly how I prep and prime my press-ons to get ready to 
basically adhere them using our new gel x dupe method so if you have not already seen that video i will link it above go ahead and check that out and you'll know exactly how i prepped and primed these press-ons but now i'm just going in with this new color and i'm going to paint them all cure them and then do a second coat because we like we like our nails nice and opaque okay of course all of the nail products that i'm using are going to be linked in my amazon shop so go ahead and check the description box below for all of the materials that i'm using so now is the fun part i'm taking this brown gel polish kit and we are going to do a brown French tip on each one of our nails, okay? So I was so proud of myself for achieving this because yes, y'all, I hand painted this French. So I am gonna show you this process in a little bit more detail later on, just in case you wanna go ahead and hand paint your own French. But you'll see that I do a small vertical line down the middle of the nail first. And then I do my curved lines to meet that vertical line. And that's the easiest way I figured out how to do the French. So proud of myself, y'all. I really like doing nail designs. I really think I'm a nail tech. That's really what it is. <laughs> like, I think I'm a nail tech. So any design that I see, I'm like, girl, I can do that. And I go ahead and try it. Um, the brush that I'm using is linked in my Amazon shop, just FYI. The little stand that I have my nail sitting on linked in my Amazon shop. Everything is linked in my Amazon shop, so go ahead and check it out. And yeah, just go ahead and watch the magic happen. I am going to show you one more time how to achieve that brown French tip just in case you want to hand paint your own nails and I'm going to use a darker brown this time so you can see exactly what's going on so you're going to see me pick up my polish and I'm just going to dab a couple of dots into my bowl I just like to use this bowl to hold all my polishes I'm going to take a very thin nail brush and I'm going to start by making a very small vertical line down the center of the nail. And that's basically going to be the width of my French. And then you're gonna see me make curved lines going up the nail to kind of meet that vertical line that we did. And this is how I achieve my French shape. Okay, y'all, so it's not difficult. You just gotta really work on having a steady hand and really getting the shape that you like. So if you like a really, really deep French line, then, then you can go ahead and tweak that. If you don't like a deep French, you know, just do what you wanna do with your nails. And that's the beauty of doing your own nail design is that you can do exactly what you want. Let me know if you have been enjoying the nail video so far. I've done one on Halloween themed nails. That was my spooky glam nails. I also did one where I painted my natural nails with this exact same brown gel color, actually. And that was in my fall get ready with me. So let me know how you've been enjoying the nail content so far and whether you want me to continue to post nail videos on my channel. Please, I appreciate your feedback. All right, y'all, so we are gonna cure this, and this is how our French came out. I love it, okay? So now let's get into this crocodile situation, which is actually the easiest part of this whole process. I'm taking a handy dandy bobby pin, dipping it into a brown polish, and this is how we're making like the croc print, y'all. I, <laughs> I know watching this, it's like, wow, I did not know this is gonna be this easy, but it's so easy, you're just dragging the end of the bobby pin to make exaggerated dots and lines like it's so easy <laughs> literally so easy I'm sure you can do this with a dotting tool but I use what I had and I had a bobby pin okay so this is how you do the crock print I'm gonna show y'all that process one more time but again it's literally the easiest design I've ever done I was actually so super surprised so I'm taking my brown I'm dipping the end of my bobby pin into a different brown color um, and I'm just dragging the bobby pin until I get the exact shape that I want. 
By the way, I did show you that top gel coat because you have to, have to, have to paint the nail with the top gel coat first or else the croc is not gonna look right. The croc design is not gonna look right. So make sure you paint it with the top coat first. Do not cure the top coat and then go right in with your bobby pin and your polish. Okay, I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions or I confuse you, please just ask me in the comment sections below and I'll go ahead and clarify. But again, this was the easiest nail design I've ever done. Well, like the actual crock part. And I think it looks so good. And now you're just seeing me go ahead and clean up the polish. I'm gonna cure it and this is how the nails turn out. Let me know what y'all think about these nails. I feel like I snapped. What y'all think? Let me know in the comment section below. So real quick y'all, I got my nails done, well my toes done in LA. If you already watched my LA vlog, you saw a little preview of this. Um, I needed a pedicure, it had been months, okay, literal months. So we are getting these feet together and we are getting a classic French, I love a good French pedicure y'all, that is really the only thing I get on my toes other than white, okay. so. Shout out to this lady. She was really like getting into those toes and we got a nice little French. I was very satisfied with it. Um, my, my toes still look good. It's been a couple of weeks later and I got regular polish. I didn't even get gel. So we are very happy about this whole situation and I'm pretty sure my pedicure was under $30. You really can't beat it. Okay, period. And I want to know the longest you've ever gone without getting a pedicure in the comment section below because if I'm sitting here and showing y'all my toes on the internet, y'all can at least give me something, okay? So what's the longest you've ever gone without a pedicure? Hi friends, happy Sunday. I just washed my face, brushed my teeth, did all that good stuff. And I'm about to do my lash extensions. So I wanted to do this before I actually got to LA, but your girl is running out of time. So we are gonna go ahead and do some lash extensions. If you watched my last video, you know that I just recently tried out the Kiss Falscara kit. I did bring that with me because I could just do this again. I, I really like this. However, these did not last for a very long time. I want my lashes to last, right? So I also brought like the original like Ardell kit, which I have used before in a different maintenance vlog and I just have some different styles. So these are the lash trios that I used the last time. Um, this is like the starter kit and I used a couple of these the last time. And these ones are like the 3D individuals, which I think will look really good and more dramatic. Because as much as I like these, it was just a little, it was a natural look. So if you're going for that look, definitely check this out. But I don't want, really want a natural look, but I'm in LA. I want it to look like I got lashes on, you know? Um, I'll try to set y'all up if I can, so y'all can kind of watch this process. So hopefully y'all can see me, and I think I'm going to attempt to do my lashes. Just so y'all know, I probably am going to be leaning up because the mirror is right here. So if y'all can't see me for a couple, you know, clips, my bad. What do we think? So, I did three short trios in the inside, two medium trios in the inside, and then I finished it off with some 3D individuals to so just fill this in. I think I have like at least five. Um, just mini review right now. These are looking a little messy you know i thought they would give me a wispy look but they kind of just look like my lash extensions are messy you know like so let me go ahead and finish the other eye and then i'll check back in with y'all when i have like when i look more together okay all right y'all so i went ahead and did my makeup but get into the lashes i try my best you know this is my second time doing lashes like this they cute and I think they do something for me so I don't have to worry about like putting on lashes so we got the nails the lashes the hair and we're officially LA ready even though we already been in LA for a day okay all right y'all to be quite honest with you I'm really not loving the way the hair turned out I tried something new and 
it's a no from me dog so i will be redoing this hairstyle pretty soon look out for that video coming soon i promise you i'm gonna post it like before the year is out okay i hope y'all enjoyed the nail vid okay i really love this design even though I don't know if you noticed, but I accidentally mix match these two <laughs> on my hands. If you're looking for any nail supplies, make sure you check out my Amazon shop. I link everything that I use in that Amazon shop. Thank you so much for watching this maintenance vlog. If you enjoyed it, remember to hit that subscribe button. Also like this video so that YouTube can share with other people. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.